Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a cannon rotate as you see here. And you will have these help dots so you can see where you are aiming. And when you uh, click on the left mouse button, you will shoot a cannonball in that direction that these dots are pointing. Before we get to it, I would like to say thanks to my patrons for the support. Uh, it really means a lot to me. And remember, all the scripts and prefabs I'm using for uh, my tutorials, they can all be found on my Patreon site. So go check it out. Let's get to it. So all the sprites and uh, prefabs that I'm using, they can be found on my Patreon site, or you can use your own. So what I have here is a cannon. We have, uh, it's an empty game object. Under that, I have made the rotate point. When we take the cannon button, this is the lower part of the cannon. It's a simply sprite. Then we have a rotate point where this barrel should rotate. And that is simple, just an empty game object. You move it to the rotate point. You can name it rotate point as I did. And underneath that one, we have the cannon top. That is the barrel you see here. And then we have a fire point where you will launch the, the cannonball. Then in my uh, folder here, I have a cannonball prefab. It's uh, a simple uh, circle cannonball. It's just dragged into here. I have add, added a circle collider to it. I have added a rigid body 2D to it, like that. And that's everything, as you see here, I have added to it. And then you take the cannonball and you can drag it down here to make a, a prefab. And the same goes for the dot. The dot I have dragged into uh, the scene, like this. I have added nothing to it. And then I have just dragged it out here again to make the prefab. And then I have this little wall where I have a rigid body on it and a box collider. Let's create a script. Great, C sharp script. Call this Canon uh, controller. Let's place it on the, the rotate point. Like this. And let's open it up. So the first thing that we will need to implement to get this cannon to rotate uh, to your mouse position, we will need some vectors. So let's make a private vector two, and this will be the cannon position. We need a private vector two for our mouse position. Uh, mouse position. And we need a private vector two for our direction. Then let's go down here and make a public void and call it Canon uh, controller. We can't call it that because the script is called the same, but uh, uh, Canon rotate. And he will say the Canon position is equal to our transform dot position. Then we need our mouse position to calculate that. We need to figure out the camera dot main. So now we have the main camera. We need to set the screen to world point, and that point is our input dot mouse position. Then we have our direction is equal to our mouse position minus the cannon position, and then transform dot right is equal to our direction. And remember to call this in the update function cannon rotate. Let's save this and go back. And if you hit play now, you can see the cannon is rotating uh, to your mouse position. Now let's implement the bullet. Let's open up the script again. Let's do cannon controller. <clears throat> now we will implement the uh, bullet controller. And here we'll need a public game object, and this will be the cannon, sorry, the cannon ball. Then we'll have a public float for our fire force, and we'll have a public transform for the fire point. <clears throat> now let's go down here and make another public void called fire. 
and he will say game object cannon ball. Remember, I have this uh, on the line here because we need to create a new uh, cannon ball. Is equal to instantiate, and we will instantiate the cannon ball, and we will instantiate it at the fire point dot position and fire point dot rotation like this and then we will take the cannonball dot get component and oops and on that component we will get the rigid body 2d and we will take the velocity and transform dot right times the fire force so we use the rigid body on the cannonball multiplied with the fire force to throw it in the right direction. So let's go up to the update here and let's say if whoops, input um, dot get mouse button down and here mouse button zero. Zero is the left mouse button and one is the right mouse button. And then we will fire like this. So let's save this and hit back. And now we need to drag in our cannonball prefab. We need our fire point. We created that here. And remember that is the one you, this is where the, the cannonball will be uh, instantiated from. So go to the rotor point, take the fire point, move it over. And then we need 30 in fire force. Now let's hit play. Now when we shoot, we can shoot cannonballs. So now let's create these uh, help dots to see where we are aiming. So open up the script again. Here we will need some point controller. And here we will say public game object. And here we will need the point. We need public game objects to collect all the points. And this is a way of points. Then we will have a public int for our number of points. So how many points we will have. And our public float for space between, <coughs> sorry, uh, between points. Then in our start function, we will say points is equal to new dot game object. Uh, where is it? This, and then we will take the number of points, and then we will make a for loop, and here we will go for the number of points, and points dot i is equal to instantiate point, and we'll do it from the fire point dot position dot quaternion dot identity like this. <clears throat> now we need to calculate uh, the the length of the dots and the the gravity on the dots. So let's go down here and update. And here we need a vector two. Call it point position, point position, position, and this will take in a float. Let's call it p. Here we have the vector two position is equal to vector two. And this will be from the fire point dot position plus the direction dot normalize times our fire point multiplied with the float P. And then we need to add some gravity, so it's not just a straight line, but it will have this uh, bended line. We can do that by multiplied with some uh, physics gravity. So plus 0 0.5 multiplied with physics 2D dot gravity multiplied with P time. Sorry. Uh, why can I say that? Did we not close the loop? Just a second. Ah, it's the fire force. Sorry. 
like this. And here we will return the position like this. So to use it, we'll use the same for loop as we have up here. So you can just copy this, paste it down here. But now we will say the point i dot transform dot position is equal to our point position. And here we will use the i times the space between points. So now let's save this and hit back. And here we need to fill in the point. So that will be this uh, dot prefab. We need the number of points. In my case, it fits well with 30. And then space between the points will be 0 0.06 in my case. So now let's hit play. And there you go. You have this nice dotted line. And if you shoot, you can see it follows it perfectly. Yeah, that was what I had to show you in this tool. I really hope it helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching and remember to hit that subscribe button below if you want to see more videos from me.